So here are the two formulas. We've got kinetic energy is half mv squared, and gravitational potential energy is mgh. And I'm saying these are both energies. Uh, they are both measured in joules. Now, you might be thinking, well, these two formulas look somewhat different to one another. So how could they both be measured in joules? Now, one way that you could look at this uh, you could look at it just by the units, um, but one way that you could look at this is through what we refer to as dimensional analysis. Now, we do more dimensional analysis later on in the course uh, and in the playlist, um, but essentially you can break um, the concepts down into, uh, in this case, we're going to look at mass, length and time. Okay, so we work with mass, and we refer to that using a capital M, length with a capital L, and time with a capital T. Okay, so this is a nice way to kind of introduce what we do with dimensional analysis to show that two things would be measured using the same units. So kinetic energy. we have one half mv squared. Now with dimensional analysis, the half is just a constant multiplier, okay? So um, it, ha it is dimensionless, so we can ignore that. The mass that we have there, we can replace with capital M, so capital M. And then you've got velocity. Now, um, velocity, is a length over a time, okay? So meters per second is a length over a time. So we have length over time, and that's being squared, okay? So what we would end up with is mass, length squared, time to the minus two, okay? Now, Let's consider gravitational potential energy, which has the formula MGH. So, mass, capital M. Then we have G, which is an acceleration. Now, acceleration is meters per second per second in this case. So, that is length over time squared. So, length over time squared. That is your acceleration. The height is a length. So we multiply that by L. And we end up with M L squared T to the minus 2. And so you can see that they both are dimensionally consistent. And so they must both have the same units. Um, and that's how you can kind of show that kinetic energy, these two, and gravitational potential energy, these two formulae um, both give you energy.